All right, we made it to Indiana. Camper is an absolute mess right now. We're working on it, it's wet. I'm getting mad at inanimate objects. My feet are wet. Nikki's cleaning everything up. We got Jake's it's getting the camp set up outside. We're gonna get everything set up here. We gotta run to the store, get stuff, and see everybody when they get back hunting. Hopefully somebody got one already tonight. Indiana, 2021, should be a fun time. All right, we made it to the river. It's moving pretty, a little faster than we thought, but so that just means I gotta put the camera away until we get to our spot. So, I'll let you know how this paddle goes. We're not really sure of it yet, but we're about to be. Well, it's been an adventure already. Aren't you glad we waited till daylight to do that? Yeah, <laughs> that looks scary. <laughs> this river didn't look too bad, but it's tricking. The good thing is, I don't think anybody else is doing that. <laughs> not. <laughs> so hopefully it's good for that effort. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's start to migrate in there. So we're slipping up. We just went through kind of a transition of uh, going from a bunch of oak hardwoods to but there's a bunch of hickories in here, big beech trees. We just bumped a little buck and I'm guessing this is what he was in here doing. There is a pile of beech nuts throughout here. A pile of acorns. I mean, there's no attic where we're, where we're hunting here. We're gonna just keep walking. I mean, we have a pile of beech trees in New York, but I don't usually find beech nuts. They're not this big. Like that's, look at that. That's a big beech. <laughs> that's a huge beech. Day two, public land challenge. Um, 
we are headed to a little bit different spot. We teetered back and forth about where we wanted to go. And we didn't want to, it was such a rodeo getting out of the woods last night. We didn't want to have a rodeo again in the morning um, just because we don't have a solid way to get to where, to where we need to kayak across. Um, and we just felt like by the time we got in there, we'd kind of be doing more harm than good. So we're going to check out another little piece uh, for a couple hours here. We got two spots that we're going to try and get to depending on what the river levels look like. So pull up here, get in the woods and see what we can learn. just about a little bit after two o'clock we just got down to the river um, walked through some real thick stuff like what we walked out of last night but 
we thought maybe in the daytime we'd be able to find a pretty decent path. Uh, the results are in that was a lie. <laughs> a big fat one. Well, we can just pop right over this ridge, sit on the back side of that and catch anything cruising this edge. The bucks we saw today, except for the one we scared the crap out of, was definitely cruising. The bucks we saw yesterday were definitely cruising, so November 1st. Let's get in a tree and shoot one.
Third morning in Indiana. We're just getting ready to go in. Still waiting for that river to drop a little bit so we can be kayaking in. So um, there's another guy here at the parking spot today. But this piece is so big that we're not worried about it at all. Our plan is to get in here pretty much first light and start working our way along the edge of the river until we get to the kayaks. We're supposed to have a north wind, I believe. North wind? Or is it northwest? Northeast. Northwest. It's either north, northwest, or northeast. Yeah. One of those three. All good. All good, so should be blowing us right back down the river and our thermal should be dropping there's nothing right now but there's some really good cruising trails right on the back side edge of that river you know like you would imagine so we're just gonna slowly creep in get to the kayaks and probably get set for an all day or once we're an all day the rest of the day or we'll call it um we really want to test the water it looked like last night it dropped enough that we might be able to paddle back up to this one spot um, in the evening, but we want to test it in the daylight. So that's the plan as of now. We came really close yesterday. I saw a bunch of bucks cruising. Um, so hopefully today's the same. We're gonna get to walk in, and see what the morning and day brings, day three. Hopefully it's a good one. bunch of turkeys now they're all upset trying to find each other again big track lots, lots of fresh scrapes
just about <clears throat> just about one o'clock and another buck come in while we're gathering a bunch of stuff to give us some back color cover here he saw us but I'm guessing he came in because we were making a bunch of sound noise just like it's hard to shoot through this stuff it's super thick and I've looked at a couple of trees the thing that's keeping us here is our wind. I walked up to a knob to check it and our wind's all over the place because we're right here in this ditch. It's keeping us down in here. And that's why these deer are getting so close. But they're seeing, they were seeing us, so. We just gotta put all the pieces together. We got 99.9% .9 of it done. We just need that 0.1%, that execution. It's crazy when you're bow hunting how you can do have that much and still not be successful <laughs> but we're gonna keep after it hopefully we can get it done today I think if I had one more stick up there I would have been able to shoot a bunch of lanes I think it's just gonna make getting a shot a lot easier I like the ground stuff it's sweet but I think we need to it's like eye level standing too thick this stuff is like you're either gotta be like really low it, or up where there's a little opening there's a little opening right there there's a little opening right here which both those bucks or that one buck would have walked right through there that little one walked right through there I just didn't have a shot so it's like just two o'clock 2.30 so we're just gonna slip up there for the rest of the evening see how it all works as the evening comes to our, our thermal should fall in this ditch a lot better too all right it's quarter after three we just got in this tree about four yards from our ditch we've got no more lucky ditch noodles left so i don't know that we'll see anything <laughs> um it's funny whenever you're eating food you always joke you're like oh we're gonna be eating our food and a big one walks in. Well, today we are eating a cup of noodles and a big one walked in. <laughs> so, we decided to get up in this tree. <clears throat> and I think I'm glad we did. We're gonna be able to shoot pretty well. And I tested the wind as I was getting up and everything sucking us back down into this ditch and back towards the river here, which is about 50 yards behind us. There's a mega trail right through here. Obviously, we've seen a few deer use it, so. It seems like a good spot. I think it's gonna be a good spot in the morning as well. Hopefully we get some bucks moving through this evening. We got about four hours of light left, so. I'm gonna eat some turkey sandwiches. And hang out. Hey, something crazy could happen. Something crazy could happen. Now we're having fun. It's been a good time. Hopefully we don't get hit in the head by walnuts. Those things are loud and heavy.
There's another one. Come the same line. Another big one. Quarter after eight, 
We just got out of the woods. We're headed back to camp. It was a walk out of lots of different thoughts. I think I asked Jake about like 45 questions. I'd just be walking and I'd stop and turn and be like, is this a day doing that? And it's just part of it when you shoot one, I guess. I haven't shot one in five years with a bow. <laughs> so like, I didn't know that. yeah, the last buck I shot was in Iowa. Wow. I missed him. <laughs> Maybe four. <laughs> missed one dang near every year. But no, it's, it's, I talked to Brett, sent him a picture of the arrow, kind of explained the situation. We'll see when we get back to camp. I, I haven't told anybody yet. I tried calling Greg, but so. We'll see you when we get back there. I don't know, It's he was quartering two a little bit harder than I would have liked. I thought I tucked it pretty tight behind his shoulder, but it's definitely a little further back than I thought. You go all the way through? Yeah. You get out of there? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? He's dead right now. I hope so. I agree, So we. Hey, Jim, do you want one? I have nah. <laughs> we we heard it sounded like two two by fours just getting smashed up on the ridge above us. Not in the same spot. Through, we've been in like four different spots. Three of them same are same general area. So you got the shot on there, Jake. Yeah. Let's see it. It's a family family vacay here. <laughs> um, probably looking at maybe liver, stomach, and guts. So, with that being said, we're going to head back in there in the morning. Um, we think we heard him either lay down or, or crash um, not too far. We never heard him get off that knob, and we definitely didn't bump him getting out that we know of. So, we just got to beat. We don't want to go in there too early and bump him because I think if we bump him, we're, it's going to make everything really difficult. Um, so... Unfortunately, it's probably going to be a morning escapade. I don't know what time we're going to head over there. But it's one of those things where it makes it hard to be excited, I suppose, when you just don't know or there's a chance that that animal's suffering. It's never something that you want to do by any means. But unfortunately, it's a reality of bow hunting. I was definitely a little further back on the shot than what I thought I was. The more time, the better, as long as coyotes don't get them, which we haven't heard any, but I pray that they don't anyways, because I want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the biggest reason I hunt, why I hunt, but it's gonna get to get down to 30 tonight, so should be should be good. But we'll see, we'll see you guys in the morning. Um, a couple hours after this non-sleepless night, so, or this sleepless night, not non-sleepless night. <laughs> I'd need some sleep, it sounds like. <laughs> See you in the morning. Alright, it's just after 5 o'clock, we're headed in there. It's been 11 hours about since the shot. Not a whole lot of sleep last night, which I'm sure you can tell by the way I looked. We're gonna get in there, get close, listen for a while, and uh, as soon as it gets daylight, go to the shot, start to track him. Hopefully, he's laying where we heard that crash and the story comes to an end and it's, everything's good, but. Preparing for a rodeo, hoping for a festival. <laughs> All right, we're taking our time getting in here. We just don't want to bump anything back towards him. We just got down to the river. We're gonna walk the edge of the river right to where the shot was. It's stressful. Very stressful. It's almost over. Yeah. Uh, it could, it, could, <laughs> it could almost be over or it could just be getting started. That's the problem. We're about 
60 yards from the tree and I've had nothing to really go off of besides what we're trying to assume was his tracks which is really hard to tell because there's so many deer in here just sitting here like just give us some sign and somehow We got a little sign. <laughs> one air. One air. I don't know if it's his. I would assume. <sighs> I would assume too. But. All right. Now we know. thing that was making me so sick was thinking that like something was gonna beat us to this deer. <sighs> Thank you buddy. You gave us a heck of some emotions through the last couple days that's for sure. Not this one in particular but just the Indiana deer woods I'll tell you what it's been a, probably some of the best deer hunting that I've had since I lived in Iowa. As for anything more of three days of hunting public land in a place you've never been. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's a beautiful deer. Hello. Hey. Hey. We got him. <gasps> really? Yeah. We heard him die last night. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Nothing got to him. So. Oh my gosh. He only went like a hundred yards. She's big. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Right. You got it? No. <laughs> All right. All right. That's a wrap for Indiana. Unless we get a real wild hair. And Jake buys a tag. <laughs> we did see a shooter while we were sitting on the bank. It only makes 17 bucks, so <laughs> I don't know. We got like a day and a half left. We're gonna see how long it takes us to get all this stuff kind of wrapped up and recuperate. Um, and then we'll see what happens. But we appreciate you guys watching. Like always, um, we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So if you haven't already, please hit that like button, give us a subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.
till next time, hopefully we get another buck down. <laughs>